Hi guys! In this video, you'll see how the actors of the 1975 TV series, The Jeffersons, have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they looked then and what's with them now in 2023. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Roxy Roker was born on August 28, 1929. At the time of filming, she had reached the age of 46. It is with great sadness that we announced her passing in 1995 at the age of 66 in Los Angeles, California, US. Roxy Roker played the character Helen Willis. Helen was the wife of Tom Willis and the best friend of Louis Jefferson. She was a strong-willed and independent woman who was not afraid to stand up to George Jefferson. She was also a successful businesswoman and she owned her own interior design firm and often had a sharp tongue. Marla Gibbs was born on June 14, 1931. While filming, she was at the stage of being 44 years old. And now, in 2023, she's making the most of her life at the age of 92. Marla Gibbs portrayed the character Florence Johnston. She was the maid of the Jeffersons, a wealthy African-American family living in Manhattan. Florence was a hard worker and a loyal employee, but she was also quick to speak her mind, even if it meant offending the Jeffersons. She was often the voice of reason in the household and she often had to put up with George blustering in his attempts to boss her around, and often had a sharp tongue. Zara Colley was born on January 26, 1892. She was 83 years of age when the filming happened. It is with great sadness that we announced you of her passing in 1978 at the age of 86 in Los Angeles, California, US. Colley died at the Cedars Sinai Medical Center from lung cancer. She was interred at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Freedom Mausoleum, Calibrium of Victory. Zara Colley assumed the role of Mother Jefferson. She was the mother of George and Louis Jefferson. She was a strong-willed and opinionated woman who never shied away from expressing her views. She was also a bit of a gossip and loved to stir up the trouble, and often had a sharp tongue. Paul Benedict was born on September 17, 1938. At the time of filming, he had reached the age of 37. Sadly, in 2008, he passed away at the age of 70 in Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts, US. Benedict was found dead of a brain hemorrhage at his home in Aquina. Paul Benedict played the character Harry Bentley. He was the Jefferson's next door neighbor and best friend. He was a widower and who lived with his young daughter, Daphne. Bentley was a mild mannered, soft spoken, and somewhat naive man who was often the target of the George Jefferson's jokes and pranks. However, he was also a loyal and supportive friend who was always there for the Jeffersons, and often had a sharp tongue. Berlinda Tobert was born on November 4, 1949. She had reached the age of 26 when she participated in the filming. At 74 years old now, she is currently savoring every moment of life. Berlinda Tobert took on the role of Jenny Willis. She is the only daughter of Helen and Tom Willis the younger of their two children. Jenny is a bright and independent young woman who is not afraid to speak her mind. She is also very close to her parents and her older brothers. Jenny is a talented singer and dancer, and she often performs at school and community events, and often had a sharp tongue. Isabel Sanford was born on August 29, 1917. When the filming took place, she was at the age of 58. Sadly, in 2004, she passed away at the age of 87 in Los Angeles, California, US. She was hospitalized at Cedars Sinai Medical Center on July 4, 2004, where she died five days later. Her publicist attributed it to an unspecified natural causes. She was interred at Forest Lawn Memorial Park, Hollywood Hills. Isabel Sanford assumed the role of Louis Jefferson. She was the wife of George Jefferson and the mother of Leonel Jefferson. Louise was a strong-willed and independent woman who was often at odds with her husband's outspoken and opinionated personality. Louise was first introduced as George's friend and neighbor. She was a successful businesswoman who owned her own dress shop and often had a sharp tongue. Danny Wells was born on April 7, 1941. At the time of filming, he had reached the age of 34. It is with great sadness that we announce you of his passing in 2013 at the age of 72 in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Danny Wells took on the role of Charlie. He was the owner of Charlie's Bar, 
which was located on the first floor of the Kobe East luxury apartment building, where the Jeffersons and Willises resided. Charlie was a wise and friendly bartender who was always willing to lend a listening ear to the residents of the building. He was also a bit of a ladies' man and was often seen flirting with the female customers and often had a sharp tongue. Sherman Hemsley was born on February 1, 1938. While filming, he was at the stage of being 37 years old. Sadly, in 2012, he passed away at the age of 74 in El Paso, Texas, U.S. Hemsley died at his home. The cause of death was given as superior vena cava syndrome, a complication associated with lung and bronchial carneomas. Sherman Hemsley played the character George Jefferson. He was a successful businessman, millionaire, and owner of seven dry cleaning stores. He was a proud and outspoken man who was not afraid to speak his mind, even if it meant offending others. He was proud of his accomplishments and his status as a successful black man, but he was also quick to anger and often had a sharp tongue. He was also a husband and a loving father, and often had a sharp tongue. Damon Evans was born on November 24, 1949. He was 26 years of age when the filming happened, but currently, in 2023, he is enjoying his life at the age of 74. Damon Evans portrayed the character Leonel Jefferson. Leonel was a young, ambitious man who was trying to make his way in the world. He was often at odds with his father, George Jefferson, but he also loved and respected him deeply. Leonel was a talented musician and singer and he often performed with his band, the Jeffersons. He was also a ladies' man, and he was always getting into his romantic entanglements, and often had a sharp tongue. Franklin Cover was born on November 20th, 1928. He had reached the age of 47 when he participated in the filming. His career started on the stage acting in Henry IV, Part One, and Hamlet. He made television debut on Naked City, and later appealed on The Jackie Gleason Show. It is with great sadness that we announce you of his passing in 2006, at the age of 78, in Eagle Wood, New Jersey, U.S. Franklin Cover played the character Tom Willis. He was the husband of Helen Willis and the father of Alan and Jenny. Tom was a successful businessman who owned his own advertising agency. He and Helen lived in a luxurious apartment building across the hall from Jefferson's. He was also a kind and considerate husband and father and often had a sharp tongue. Ned Wertheimer was born on October 27, 1923. She had reached the age of 52 when he participated in the filming. Sadly, in 2013, he passed away at the age of 90 in Valley Village, Los Angeles, California, U.S. Ned Wertheimer portrayed the character Ralph Hart. Ralph Hart was the doorman of the building where the Jeffersons lived. Ralph was a friendly and helpful man who was always willing to lend a hand. He was also a bit of a gossip and loved to keep up with the latest news about the Jeffersons and their neighbors, and often had a sharp tongue. Jay Hammer was born on November 16, 1944. When the filming took place, he was at the age of 31, but as of now, in 2023, he is currently 79 years old. Jay Hammer played the character Alan Willis. He was the son of the mixed-race couple Tom and Helen Willis. Alan was a successful businessman. He and Jenny lived in a luxurious apartment in Manhattan. He was often seen as being somewhat uptight and conservative, but he was also shown to be loving and supportive of his wife and family, and often had a sharp tongue. Ernest Hardin Jr. was born on November 25, 1952. He was 23 years of age when the filming happened. At 71 years old, he is currently savoring every moment of life. Ernest Hardin Jr. portrayed the character Marcus Henderson. He was a young, ambitious lawyer who often crossed paths with George Jefferson. The two men were often at odds, as Henderson was more progressive and liberal than George. However, they also had a grudging respect for each other, and they eventually became friends. And often had a sharp tongue. Who was your favorite character in the TV series The Jeffersons? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you!